All right, welcome back to Fox and Frog Board Gaming. I'm Anthony. I'm Christy. And today we're doing a quick little review of, well, a quick little wordy game here. Um, yeah, a little wordy. So we jumped in and, and started playing that uh, this week. And wow, it really is very quick and easy to learn. Um, and really fun um at least in my opinion i'm not a word guy i'm terrible at, at words i think uh most of the words i made up were names of some kind um just what was coming to my mind but uh you know, my younger kids really got excited about it jumped in and beat dad uh at least once each just about um but had a lot of fun with it as well what are your thoughts um so i had a lot going on this week so i was only able to play it once but i watched my two younger or two youngest kids they're 12 and 10 almost 10 and they were just having fun trying to figure out words so you get four vowels and seven letters to create a word and then you trade with the other person uh, your letters and they have to guess which word you came up with and there's these little hints that they'll get uh, back and forth and whoever can guess the word in the with less hints i guess wins the game um, and it was just fun to watch them and sometimes they'd have hard time coming up with big words so their words would be cat or or this, or they tried to do each other's names, but they didn't always have the right letters. Um, so that was interesting for them, but they were able to do it and they enjoyed playing it as well. Yeah. Now, Chrissy mentioned uh, that there's little hints. So you get a deck of cards, actually two decks of cards, one that they call vanilla and one that they call spicy. And these cards give different suggestions of hints to ask for, okay? Now, on each of those cards, as you choose one of them to ask your opponent, they're actually going to get what's called a berry from it, and that's indicated on the card how many berries they're going to receive for you asking that question or that uh, hint. Now, what will happen is they have to answer. And so as soon as you ask it, they're going to answer. They get the berries. If you end up guessing the word, then you count up the number of berries. And if you have more berries than your opponent, you win. If you don't, your opponent still has chances to guess and try to win the game until you have received enough berries that you finally win if they haven't guessed your secret word yet or not. So it definitely plays in there that you're not guaranteed to win even if you guess the word first. Yeah, I think there was definitely some strategy, at least when I played it, as far as which hints to ask for because I didn't want too many berries and trying to figure out how much information I could get and keep myself with less berries than him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, playing with, oh, each of my kids, I think I'd lost a couple of them by one or two berries. Um, even against Christy, she, she beat me by two or three berries, yeah. I think as, as we did it. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, it, it's a fun game, quick, it is uh, identified as being a two-player, um, but you could definitely play this in groups. You're just going to, the problem is, is the conversations. You're going to be going and looking at the tiles and the words and making up this word. But the more you talk, the more your opponent could hear. So you're going to literally need to get up, leave the room, make that combination, figure out what that is and then come back. So that's gonna add time to the game. Um, indicator on this game is, uh, I believe it's 
5 to 15 minutes on the play time. So it is meant to be a very quick game. Um, now, we didn't identify this earlier, but this game is by Exploding Kittens. So if you know any Exploding Kittens games or you know their, their initial game or any of the other ones that they've done, they are pretty quick. They are fun. Um, they don't require a lot of um, learning or, or knowledge of, of different gameplays. So they keep it very simple. Uh, ready for adults as well as children to be able to jump in and play this game. Mm -hmm. So so I did want to say something about the words. There's no limit on the word you can choose, really. Like, you can do a one-letter word all the way up to an 11-letter word. In fact, our daughter did the word I, as in I am going to the store. She thought she was being very clever, and it did take a little while for Anthony to narrow it down. Yep. Um but if you can use all the letters, then you are welcome to use that entire set of letters. But that might make it easier because if there's only one word that you can form. So it takes a lot of strategy and yeah. it's kind of fun rearranging the letters and figuring out which word you can come up with that might be the most challenging to guess. So I yep. did enjoy that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, that one to 11 letters, you know, you, you got a lot of area to play in. Um, and it can be very crazy. Like out of, you get the four vowels and then the seven continents, uh, consonants as, as Christy mentioned, I pulled out, I think three O's out of the four one time. And so it, it can be very random because you're actually pulling these out of a bag. You're, um, shake up the bag. You're, you're pulling out of the bag to see what you get. So, it uh, definitely makes it uh, interesting, the random, randomness of it. Um, your hint cards, there's, you know, you're, you're putting out four of those, and out of the vanilla ones, you get six cards, and you get, uh, I can't remember on the, the spicy, you get about 10 of those. And so the randomness of, of the cards helps to add some flavor to the game as well and, and keeping it new and different and challenging each time you play. So yeah. overall, what do we think? So I was just thinking, um, for me on a scale of one to five, I'd probably put it at a three and a half. It's not one that I'm going to go and pick off the shelf to play. But if one of my kids wants to play it, I'm more than happy to play it. It's a great educational tool for them and it's quick and easy and I don't mind playing it. And I feel like I can be challenged just as much as they can. be. Yeah. And I think I'm, I'm sitting in that same boat. I think my, out of uh, one to five, I'm, I'm closer to a two and a half. Um, it's definitely not my game. I'm, I'm not the greatest at, at word games. Scrabble, I avoided like the plague as a kid growing up. Um, it just wasn't my thing. I think this is definitely more approachable for me. Um, but, and, and it does add a little bit more fun in that approach. Uh, I think about it as maybe something to take to work and, you know, doing a small team group setting and have some fun along those lines that could get some laughs and, and giggles in there. But uh, overall, it's definitely not my flavor, but with my kids liking it so much, I'm definitely seeing it come to the table uh, a lot more. So, all right. Well, that's our review of A Little Wordy by Exploding Kittens. Hopefully you enjoyed this and there's a lot of playthrough videos out there, especially by Exploding Kittens. They, you know, you go and read the instructions, they tell you, don't read the instructions, go watch this video. And they have several good ones out there that show you how to get in and start playing this game right away. So we recommend that. We'll throw a couple of those in, in the description for you. And have a great day gaming. <laughs>